What's up guys, this is Jake from Fish Tech and today we just got a really quick video but I think it's super cool and it actually is uh, is very nice to use. So we actually we turned our trackpad into a volume knob. So I'll show you exactly how it works right now but you basically just take your two fingers and you start rotating and you can adjust the volume on your computer. Now, it's actually really nice. I found it very handy um, because you're just, you're constantly using the trackpad and you don't even have to lift your hand to just adjust the volume. I've been using it all the time as opposed to um, using the two finger gestures on the touch bar, which I thought was super revolutionary. This is actually even better than that. So we're gonna hop right into our settings and we'll show you just how to do this. All right, guys, so first things first, I just wanna say thank you to AVN Charlie who brought this to my attention on the Better Touch Tool forums. Um, if you aren't aware, we are going to use Better Touch Tool to do this. There is no other way to my knowledge to get this done without using uh, Better Touch Tool. So uh, if you don't have it, you can grab a free trial. It's like a 45 day free trial, which is pretty awesome. Um, but this is just something really cool that you should try out. Um, the first thing that we're going to have to do is we're going to go into our system preferences. Yeah, system preferences. We're going to check out our trackpad, and we just want to make sure that the rotate feature is selected. We want that to be selected. If that is all good to go, you can exit out of that, and we will bring up Better Touch Tool. So in Better Touch Tool, you're just gonna wanna uh, come up to your trackpad settings. And uh, if you don't know how to open this up in your menu bar, you're just gonna click the Better Touch Tool icon and you're gonna click configuration and this will have this uh, pop up. So open up your trackpad settings and we're gonna add a new trackpad gesture. So you're gonna hop into your two finger gestures and you'll see this rotate right. And it has this little note that says, Make sure to enable rotation in your system preferences. And we just did that. So we are good to go. You're gonna rotate it right, and then you're going to add a trigger. So, or sorry, add an action to your trigger. So we set the trigger, and now you can search for the volume up. So we are going to rotate right, and that's gonna turn the volume up. So I'm gonna do that on my trackpad right now and you can see it's working, but we can't go backwards. We can only go up in volume. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a new trigger and we're gonna go select rotate left, add an action, and we can search for volume and we'll do a volume down. Now when you rotate left, you get the volume down and you can, you can do it simultaneously, um, which is really nice. You don't have to do, you don't have to like rotate right and then pick up and then rotate left. You can just do it all at the same time. There are some settings that you're gonna to wanna to adjust in order to make this work a little bit better. So if you click your trackpad settings, it'll open up right here. And we're gonna to wanna to go to uh, the scroll and zoom and rotate section. So you're gonna to wanna to come copy my settings. They are the same settings that the person that posted this on the forum has. And you can mess around with them. You know, you can get descriptions of what exactly they, they are and do. Uh, I would say probably the most important one is the set needed rotation amount in degrees. So this is gonna activate after you rotate nine degrees and then um, and then it'll continue on from there. And then the other uh, important one is the set needed zoom and pinch amount. So this is gonna basically make it more or less difficult to activate it. And you'll find that sometimes working in uh, some apps like Photoshop or Illustrator where you're trying to zoom in or zoom out, you might accidentally activate the volume control. Um, and this is the setting that you would wanna change in order to fix it to your liking. Now, the cool thing is, is we can actually do this same same gestures, but add a, tr a uh, trigger button to it. So if we wanna rotate right, and then we can trigger only while holding these keys, we could do the command, and then we can add a trigger for brightness. And we'll go brightness up, and then we can add the same thing where we rotate left, Add the trigger for brightness down and 
we actually have to make sure that that command is selected. Now, if we're holding command and we rotate, our screen brightness is going up and down. So overall, this is just like a, something that's really cool. I've actually been using it all the time and it's been really nice and convenient. You don't even have to lift your hands off of the trackpad just to do slight volume adjustments and now you know hold command and you can adjust the brightness of the screen but very handy trick um hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to hit that like button or whatever helps the algorithm drop a comment and um that's all i got peace oh yeah and if you have any questions just drop them down below. I would love to help you and answer them. Peace.